Are you ready to embroider everything in your closet? Because it's so addictive. I'm just warning you. I'm just warning you. We are going to embroider some hoodies, some sweatshirts, really, honestly, anything that you can get a needle in, you're gonna wanna embroider. It is so cool and it is so satisfying. You're gonna wanna do it to everything. So I'm gonna teach you guys a couple different techniques, different stitch techniques, different patterns, different locations to give you all the inspo you need to do this your way. Um, if this is your first video, my name is Orly and this is the DIY Designer. This is what I do. I do DIY fashion, I do DIY home decor, I do personal style content. And really, in every video, I'm trying to give you different tools and different techniques that are gonna let let you customize your wardrobe so that it is super specific to you, that it expresses who you are, that it speaks your unique style language, because our style is just such a powerful form of communication and DIY lets us get really, really clear about what we're saying. Before we get started, I wanted to share the new Crystal Knot Choker is live on Rock Knot. It went up yesterday. I made this sample for myself probably six months ago and I've worn it so much, but I didn't want to actually put it up on the website until I perfected the placement of the knot. It's a silly little thing, but I wanted to create a necklace that could be worn as a choker, a collarbone, or a lower necklace. So I ended up coming up with a really cool solution for it. So basically, the knot is not secured in any kind of a way, and that lets you adjust the tension of the top and the bottom depending on where you're wearing it. So I had it on my collarbone, which is why there's that little sag. You see how the bottom's a little bit longer? That's because when it goes up, it's perfect and the knot will stay centered. Whereas let's say I was wearing it as a choker, you would loosen it and just grab the ends. You'll pull the knots so that they're straight. And now that little knot will face perfectly centered like this. The lower you're wearing it, the more the bottom two need to sag. Because again, if I were to put this on and wear it low, you see how the knot always faces forward. And I'm gonna give you guys a discount code for this necklace if you wanna try it out. If you haven't had a chance to try out Rock Knot, I want you to see what it's all about, how great the quality is, how wearable it is. You can wear it with everything. It's just so surprising. And you know the deal. This stuff sparkles like insanity in the light, in the sunlight, in pretty like lights in the house. It's just like diamonds, so it's super cool. Um, okay, let's get into today's DIY. Okay, so I'm actually not gonna show this sweatshirt in tremendous detail because it was really hard to see with all the colors, but I do wanna show you how you start. So you obviously need to begin by threading your embroidery floss into a needle that's large enough to fit it in. If you want to have all of your stitches be double, like extra thick, you're going to do it just like you do with a needle and thread. You take both ends of the thread or the embroidery floss, you create a knot, and boom, every single stitch will be double. However, if you want them to be single, you're going to just leave the tail and you're going to knot off one side. When you pull it through, it'll create the anchor and you can create singular stitches instead of double. So that's just a personal preference. Now let's move on to this neon sweatshirt because it's much easier to see. I wanted to do like a pop of all different neon colors on this really cool sweatshirt. I actually found this at Forever 21 and it's got this really cool fade to it that almost makes it look vintage. The original thought was going to be going all the way around in different colored neons. When I did all of the different colors, I actually didn't like it. I didn't, I didn't really think it looked as good. So I cut them out and I decided to do all neon in this section. I wanna show you a couple of important tips. Now, the first thing is I'm actually incorporating the drawstring cord in these loops. So it creates like a bold edge. So you gotta roll it to the edge so that it's as close to the edge as you want. That's if you're gonna do the same thing. If not, you're gonna push it out of the way, making sure that you're not stitching through it at all. Now, the other thing is, as you are looping these through, you wanna control where the stitches end up so that it looks really clean and really crisp. So you're gonna do a normal stitch. Once you get here, about, I don't know, three inches of slack, use your other hand to kind of guide it and hold it in place so that where it ends up is nice and neat. The first part of it, you just sort of pull through and then you use your thumb, you hold it in place, you make sure that everything is lining up really evenly, and that's it. Now this is the exact same thing, except there's no drawstring cord, so it has a different shape. It just looks flat. I'm doing this on the front sort of, you know, pocket that's on a hoodie sweatshirt, and I'm just doing the exact same thing. I'm looping around and around and around, using my thumb to make sure that everything is evenly spaced and ending up exactly where I want it. Now, on the other side of this pocket, I decided to do these little X's. I'm gonna show how to do the X's in more detail when I do the back of the hood, but I just wanted you to see, like, all of these little different patterns, you could do little flowers, you could do um, diagonal lines, stitches. Think about all the different areas of your particular garment that you could add a little detail. It's totally up to you. 
Now here's a good uh, shot to be able to show how to do the X's. Now, what I think is super helpful is for every single stitch you do, it's kind of like two. So basically, you're gonna go down where you want the beginning of your X to start. And instead of going into your hoodie, pulling all of that excess, then finding your way back up, pulling all of that excess, you're gonna do it in one. So here, you see I'm doing the X. But instead of going down, I'm going back and coming out where I want the beginning of the other side of the X to start. See this, watch. Do you see where I'm coming out? I never went all the way into the hood. I took the needle, I went in where I wanted the X to start, watch. I go in where I want the X to start, and now I skip up to the beginning of where I want the next X to start. So every stitch is not only completing the stitch, but setting you up for the next one. It's getting you in the right location. It's gonna make this move super fast and save you a lot of energy of like in and out and in and out. Anytime you guys are done, just make sure you're always knotting it off. I think the easiest way is just cut a little excess and tie a knot. It makes the knot a little smaller than if you were to do it with the actual needle and thread. Now, this sweatshirt happened to have a little print on the back, but if your sweatshirt didn't, you could draw it with a little bit of chalk or with like a fabric marker that's meant to erase. So don't worry if yours doesn't have a pattern. If you want to add a little embroidery and some words, I'm going to show you how. Now, I started doing a stitch and my mom was hanging out that day and my mom was like, wait a minute, she did this. Look at how pretty this is. She taught me how to do it. So now I am going to teach you how to do it because it is way easier than I thought. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start it off with a single thread, right? Single knot. You're gonna take your thread or your embroidery floss and you're gonna kind of pull it away from you. You are never gonna go into the back of the sweatshirt. Don't worry, I'm gonna show this a bunch. You're never gonna go to the back of the sweatshirt. You're just gonna move over. You're going to grab a teeny bit of thread and pull tight. So watch, take the, the floss out of the way, grab a teeny bit and pull. And you can see the needle is going um, like it's going back towards me. Do you see how the needle's going back towards me? That's what's creating these little loops. So you grab a little bit and pull. You grab a little bit and pull. You just keep doing that as long as the needle is going in that direction towards your thumb, it creates these little looping stitches. Just use your thumb to hold that thread in place and work your way all the way around. It creates a beautiful detail. It goes super fast. It doesn't use that much embroidery floss because we're not going in and out, in and out. It's just such an awesome stitch and I love the way it looks. I am gonna go model it for you. Ben came here this morning, so I got some cool shots. I got some great photos, so I'll share what it looks like. I really do love them. And remember, if you guys wanna give Rock Not a try, I've got the discount code below that will come off this necklace. You guys can see for yourself how awesome the quality is and how wearable it is. I'm excited to share it with you, so I hope you guys will give that a shot. Okay, let's model.